Right here, Isaiah 48 says, There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. There is no peace. There is no peace for wickedness. If you live a life of wickedness, there's no peace. I want you to just chalk this up right now. All your friends on Facebook who look like they're living the life, if they're not living for Christ, they don't have peace. I don't care if they're showing you pictures from Bermuda and their new car and their new house and their new, well, look at us and our fashionable, they have no peace. You say, well, that's just prejudice. There is no peace, saith the Lord, not Jake. Saith the Lord, not the Baptist church. Saith the Lord for the wicked. And if you're living in wickedness, if you've got a, 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 a closet in your life of wickedness, if you've got a room of wickedness, you you don't have peace. I didn't say that you weren't saved, but you don't have peace. And you say, why don't I have peace? Well, clean out the closet. Clean out the wickedness out of your life. And a lot of people have religion. They have no relationship. If they had a relationship, they wouldn't have a, a homosexual speaking for them. If they had a relationship, they wouldn't have music. We let our religion speak through our art. Okay, you fruitcake. You say, well, that sounds inflammatory. Good. You ever read what Paul and Stephen and these guys had to say in here? They're all in their robes and their cross and their colors and all their, all that garbage. I wouldn't spit on a church who have these people just falling and shaking and skipping around the church. And it ain't about God. It's about you and your looks and how you did. And you're just so filled with the spirit and you laugh uncontrollably. That's a mockery of what this book is all about. It's a joke. And we have more people in this country. America's on its way to hell because more churches push religion and tradition and outward appearance than they do relationship. They've chosen their way. They've chosen the Pope's way. They've chosen Joseph Smith's way. They've chosen Muhammad's way. They, hey, hey, they've chosen the pastor of their church's way and not the highway. They're not all the same. Pastor Jackson used to teach our church, be friendly, be friendly, be friendly, be friendly, be friendly to people. Some churches are unfriendly. Some churches are too friendly. People get right up in your bubble. Come on in. Sit right next to me. No, brother. That's that Presbyterian church downtown. It's a fist fight in my head. A fight by what this, what's going on in this mind of mine. What, engaging in battle right here. So the next time you have to choose and the decisions that you have to make, choose the highway. Why don't you get saved? People that are unsaved are not really concerned with giving God glory. You know, when I sat here at the age of 13 or going on 14, I heard my dad get up and preach a hellfire and damnation, a Chandler shaking, paint peeling, pew clinching, tear shedding message on hell. And I said, man, I don't want to go to hell. I want to make sure that I'm going to heaven when I die. Now you say, well, that's the wrong reason to get saved. You're supposed to get saved so you can give God glory. No, I got saved so I could give God glory, but I didn't get saved to give him the glory. I got saved so I didn't have to go to hell. Bible says in some saving with fire or some saved with fear in, in uh, uh, Jude. Some saving with fear 